Could you explain what Altera does in Malaysia? Yeah, uh, basically the role of uh, in, in Malaysia, uh, one, we have the R&D and also we have the worldwide operations and engineering also and also the global finance and IT uh, is also in, in, in Penang, mm -hmm. right? So basically the, uh, the role of uh, Altera Penang uh, over here. And like, like I mentioned, we have like uh, slightly more than 1,100 uh, employees. Uh, this is handling, which is like 40% of the Altera worldwide. So, so, so Atara in Penang is a very, very, uh, a very, very important uh, site for Atara. There's one over in San Jose, and there's one in Penang. Yeah. So these are very two important sites. And what is the actual product that you make? The FPGA. Okay. And what is it used for? Uh, it's used in military, used in the uh, automotive, used in telecommunication. Uh, so a lot of our product you can find uh, everywhere. And it goes into, it's part of the PCB board then, right? Yes, then, then you just put the component on the board yes. and for people to use it. Okay. Uh, we look at how can we uh, take these people, uh, young uh, students out from school, okay. uh, from universities, and instead of them come to industry directly, that we are working with Crest to make them like, to become, you know, like this sports, where they will recruit this uh, potential players and put them in the coy uh, sports farm yeah. and uh, they will they will put these uh, young players uh, to leagues to play mm -hmm. and then that's where they start to developing them mm -hmm. and then one day they become professional players so the same concept if we can use for our graduates right to come to this uh, so-called farm but of course we do not want to use farm for yeah, this yeah. and uh, uh, then we can develop them maybe over a two years period then they are industry ready then industry can just uh, take them but of course there's a price that we have to pay for it that means for example that we work with Crest because Crest have invest on these people yeah. then we pay them as a premium like you know when we transfer from players from one uh, club to another club we pay transfer, uh, fee. transfer yeah. fees so we pay we can do the same thing also and I'm sure a lot of industry will be willing uh, to do that because we know that these are the, uh, the, the great uh, talents that we can easily uh, get them. Yeah, uh, Dr. Sophie, how are you working together with Crest? Yeah, uh, we are doing uh, very well with Crest. Uh, in fact, uh, with, the, with Crest, it helped us to engage uh, with a vendor and also with the, with the university uh, to work on a project called the Carbon Nanotube or in short called CNT. How this work? Because uh, uh, from uh, from Crest, we came to know that uh, USM has developed uh, a solution on how to produce a CNT at a very low cost. So we know that uh, this CNT has a uh, uh, good thermal properties, and on in order to leverage that pro that properties in future, so we need to develop a local partner uh, to work with us. This will take uh, one year or or two years uh, to develop this material. But I'm certain that once we have this material, it's not only benefiting Atera, but also going to benefit the industry that have the same use uh, like Atera. So I'm looking forward uh, for this uh, success. And I'm sure that, uh, uh, you know, uh, time will tell that we will be there one day. And I'm very proud that Malaysia is uh, able to develop a carbon nanotube and use, the mat and use this material for the benefit of all other industries. Okay, very good. Thank you, Dr. Thank you.